It's always a really exciting day when everybody is just arriving. Um, they've got new clothes and new school supplies and new books and lots of uh, expectations uh, to learn some new things and have some new experiences. And it's definitely a very exciting time. This is a special day for me. This is my first day of class. Okay, so I just had to run an errand and it's definitely getting about that time. I'm here on Wangjung campus. I'm about to head up into my apartment, finish up the getting together of all my materials for my first day of class of the new semester. Fall semester 2021, Chinese culture, here I am. So there's like 200 students that have selected my class and they're all Chinese and I'm getting ready to give a three hour lecture in Chinese. Woo! <laughs> This is the Young Teachers Faculty Building here at Sichuan University. It's located on the Wangjiang campus, which is my favorite campus, don't tell anybody. And I'm lucky enough to get some housing here. Uh, you see it's a pretty big building. I live on the 15th floor, so I get a really good view of the Jinjiang River, which just flows next door. It's such a great place to live. Let's go, let's go check out my apartment. So like time is just like pouring, pouring out of the, the hourglass as they say. <clears throat> yes, I got up at 6 a.m. this morning and immediately my cat started acting strange. You're gonna meet my kitty. Ah, welcome. This is where I've been living for the last couple of years. This is my kitty. So looking for prosperity uh, and auspiciousness. She loves people. She's been in a little bit of a weird mood today because uh, she knows something's going on. I think she knows it's the first day of my teaching. Uh, so yeah, if I get up early some mornings, I will go ahead and um, grind some ink on the ink stone and roll out a clean piece of paper and I have my model of, uh, of uh, calligraphic characters right here so that I can study it and then go ahead and practice it. It's a very peaceful practice, Chinese calligraphy. Um, this is the character Shi and it means world. Together with the character Jie, Shi Jie, it means world. And Shang, is the character for up. Well, Chinese words are pictures, right? So they have different parts to them. There's always, there's usually a sound component and a meaning component. Uh, so one, from one you'll know the sound of the character and from the other you'll know the approximate meaning of the character. Well, for example, this character here, Liu, and here you have the, uh, the radical or the water component. So you know that it has something to do with water. And then this component here is um, liu. So then you will have, you will know that the sound of the component is liu, but then the meaning has something to do with water. And indeed the word means to flow. Uh, so this is the office for it. So it's, uh, there's a lot going on here. You can see this is my supercomputer. I, I call it my battle station. So let's see, where is my Jiang Yi? Oh yeah, it's up here. I've taught this class two times before. Mm -hmm. So this morning I spent three hours on it. From 6 to 9 a.m. revising it. Because teaching Chinese literature is a lot more difficult. So I'm going to need a special PPT and I'm going to need to just prepare a lot more time so that when I teach it, I know at least three times mo more as much as what I want them to learn. So when you're teaching, you're always learning. So this character, this here is Xin Li Xue, right? Yes. Okay. 
Yes. Oh. The other class, the Wenxuan class, um, my first semester, I prepared 30 hours every week. So, and then at the end of the semester, I, I had to go to the hospital and I had to stay in bed for two months because it was just too much. It was, I worked too hard on that. My uh, he was always saying, Got a little cucumber stuck on that. And now it's my favorite time of day. Class is all ready, ready to go. And I, my food is ready and it's lunch time. Beef, steak there. And then we've got some, I made some cucumbers, some stir fried cucumber. Okay. Like the food is healthy. Mm. No, I don't go to the cafeteria because I make better food. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Here we are in the big time. I have arrived. I've traveled across the city. So here we are in the big time. Here you'll notice the banner welcoming the new students to the Jiang'an campus of Sichuan University. The new semester is afoot. Thousands of students have arrived from all over the country. I have arrived from Wangzhong campus and this is Jiang'an. So as I mentioned, it's like about a 40 minute drive and you can see behind me it's super beautiful like that lovely gate so this campus is fairly new and it's really large this is the just near the east gate of the campus all right here i go i'm gonna go teach ah! oh my god there's gonna be 200 students in there that i'm gonna meet this is so exciting i'm really excited about this okay here we go showtime Like when a student asks me a question, the like, what does this mean? What does this paragraph mean? My first question, my first response is not telling them what it means, but asking them what do they think it means? Because only if you find their own point of reference, I believe, can you really know how to speak to them and how to answer their question in a way that they will really understand it and that they will have a deep impression of, of what I've said to them. Okay, that's okay. Show you a这个选课比较多worried about class but right now I'm really loving this class so in a minute they're gonna come up and speak so when they do that we're gonna get to see um, the students will get a, a chance to be a part of the class and they'll talk to each other I, I really like to have students come up and speak hello Shanko. Yeah. 
他的体育艺术，他是中国体育艺术。那么，四川在哪里？在西南。我们都说四川，四川应该大概在这个位置，对吧？那北京呢？在那边。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>我们现在就是在玩一个，就是好 activity。My classes, especially, are definitely a fundamental key component of my classes is interaction with my students, and so the energy that we share with each other, <laughs> the questions they ask me, the questions they answer, the jokes they laugh at, the jokes they don't laugh at, all of these things really determine how the class is going to go. So happy about this semester. This I've loved all my students, but this group I can tell right away. <laughs> we have something good going on. They were laughing at my jokes. They were answering every question I asked. They were just like alive and they were really there. It's wonderful to meet you. And uh, thank you so much. <laughs>